Hi, this is Aaron with Zillow Tech. Today I'm going to answer some of the questions I've been getting uh, about the Palm Pre 1.4 update. Uh, I think a lot of people have a, a lot of different questions as if that's a killer app to, to let them uh, buy the Pre. Uh, it, I would say it brings the Pre up to the standard of the iPhone as far as um, maybe battery life and the video recording capability. Uh, let me just give you a few examples of questions I've gotten. A lot of questions, surprisingly, are, does it have an SD slot? The Palm Pre and Pixie. I don't have the Pixie right in front of me, but uh, we'll just use the Pre for an example. Neither the Pre or the Pixie Plus, or any of the Palm devices, the new ones, have an SD slot. That said, you probably won't need it. This has 16 gigs of internal storage. If you have the Sprint, you have 8 gigs. The Pixie has 8 gigs of storage. So if you need more than that, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that, and you get what you have here. The uh, other question I get a lot is, how is battery life with the 1.4 update? Let me give you an example. Uh, for regular use, you're going to end up charging it once a day. I think they really increased battery life with 1.4. At least that's my experience uh, with, with the update. I've had... Uh, a pretty good success in having it last just as long as the iPhone with regular use. And that means uh, text messaging throughout the day, maybe surf a couple web pages, open a few apps, make a few phone calls, and that's it. Heavy use, just like any other phone, you're going to have to charge it more than once throughout the day. Uh, but that said, I would say whatever they did with the 1.4 update, um, there was not, uh, it, it was significant as far as the battery and there wasn't any uh, issues. Uh, that, that degraded the battery. Some people say they've had worse from what I've been reading, but in my case, that's that's not true. Uh, secondly, the battery life when you're sitting, uh, when this phone's sitting dormant. For example, I, I brought it with me. I use it as a mobile hotspot a lot, but when I'm not using it, I just leave it in the bag, in, in my laptop bag, turned off, or or I'm sorry, not off, but just like this. We just hit the button, suspend it, or make it go to sleep, or whatever you want to call it. So it's in standby mode, I guess. And uh, what that means is it's just sitting dormant. It has a signal, and that's it. I've had this sit in the bag for three days straight with no use. Uh, so to my surprise, I came back, I slid it open like this, and the screen came on. It said low battery, uh, but it was still alive. So that might give you some indication. Uh, as compared to the, the early uh, Palm Pre software on the Sprint version, I couldn't do that on one day. Now, I have a decent amount of email addresses it's checking, too, every every 30 minutes or more. Um, and they are, uh, I think, four different email addresses. So, I mean, four email addresses nonstop, um, not a problem, I guess. Whatever they've done, they've really increased that. That's with Wi-Fi turned on and Bluetooth turned on. Now, I don't have the mobile hotspot turned on when it's asleep uh, just because I want to conserve battery, but uh, not bad. I, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the standby time with all those features on and checking email and, and you're receiving uh, text and that sort of thing. Um, other than that, the, the 1.4 update brought some speed differences to the, to the Palm Pre. Um, for an example, uh, everything seems a little bit snappier or quicker. Uh, they've they've changed it a little bit. So let me show you the camera. If we tap the camera, what they did is they added this icon and then they bring in that that screen. So let me show you that again. Um, maybe with uh, I I guess we'll we'll try the um, I don't know the N Gadget app. Watch what happens. It zooms out, keeps the logo here, loads, brings in the screen, and then it loads everything. And we can throw it off the screen. So uh, camera app. You know, everything loads pretty quick. There's not really much else that's going to make this a little bit better than um, the other updates, other than little tweaks to the battery. Uh, seems more stable in certain areas, things like that. They did tweak the calendar, and, and you can see the 1.4 update I, I did before. Uh, otherwise, though, uh, a good update, solid, and the major thing that's supposed to come to pre soon is Flash, and we're still awaiting that. So, Really not a whole lot of other things, but those are the main questions, battery life, SD card. No to the SD card, battery life seems much improved in my experience. Uh, let me know what you think and, and what your experience has been. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.